Hi everybody, PJ Kwong here at the Figure Skating Boutique Summer Free Skate. So David, you are my old friend, and when I say old, I mean old. <laughs> Uh, I have a quick question for you. As one of the coaches for, actually the primary coach responsible for um, Alexander Paul and Mitchell Islam, um, I want to know what it's like for you as the father of Mitchell Islam and as the coach. Um, how do you balance being the dad against being the coach? And um, just tell me about that. Really, Mitch and I don't know anything different. We've been doing it ever since he embarked on his journey in skating. Uh, I think who it's hardest for is probably uh, Mitchell's mother and uh, my wife, because we'll go home and we park it, we don't bring it with us, and whatever happens in the arena stays at the arena. So we get home and my lovely wife, so how was skating today? And we're like, fine, fine. So then she finds out after the fact that maybe it wasn't a particular day, a good day at the arena. So it's a bit of a struggle for her. If we do have issues uh, at the arena that maybe are just a little bit raw because we are father-son, um, I've got a great uh, group of coaches with me, Kevin Johnson, Tyler Miles, and I'll just step back and let them kind of take over. So we've been doing it for so long, it's, it's really, we don't know anything else. So for people that don't know, your lovely wife is none other than Debbie Islam, who of course, another old friend of mine. Um, but I want to talk about the fact that as a family you have another child, and that's Rachel. And Rachel is an elite track athlete, isn't she? She is. She's on a uh, track scholarship uh, down in the, um, in the States, going to school at uh, Middle Tennessee State University. And uh, she also was on a skating journey, and at the tender age of 13, she was a lovely skater, and she decided she didn't like skating, and we thought that was wonderful. Let's find something else to do. So, so tell me about having two elite athletes in the family. How were you able to balance both schedules? Uh, I can remember when the kids were probably like 11, 12, 13. <laughs> My wife and I at 11 o'clock one night sitting in the kitchen uh, looking at each other and saying, I can't help but think we're taking years off our lives. Uh, we <laughs> kept our kids very busy. Uh, the balancing act wasn't in what they did and how busy they were, but making sure that we were a part of their lives and not just spectators in their lives, because we wanted them to uh, be exposed to many different things. And I think we've done okay with that. The kids seem pretty happy and pretty successful in what they're doing. It's, it's been tricky, but it's been very fulfilling. We're lucky. So one other quick question with Alex and Mitch. Uh, we had a very long skating season this past year. They were the alternates for the world team. They shared with me that they trained right up until when the Canadian team left for Worlds. Um, how difficult was it to turn the page to this season, and, and what was your strategy? What are your thoughts? How well, it, was, it wasn't difficult at all to turn the page before oh, this. Because the season was that long, um, it, was, it was hard for those athletes going to Worlds. Um, but being an ultimate, it's always, it's always difficult to be an But then it, it just keeps on going. And you've got to be ready because you never know what's going to happen. Um, so when it came time, the, the chapter, the, the, the page just turned quite easily. For us as coaches, we, we're thinking about, okay, when that page turns, we've got to be ready. So we, we already had music at this point. We already had plans for choreography. We're actually even playing with some new elements and, uh, and looking forward to the next season. So you do a bit of that just to, so you don't get stale and you don't get bored and you, you don't lose your mind at the arena being the ultimates. <laughs> I, I never recommend being an ultimate to anybody. Go for it. Yeah. But especially in a year like last year where we had some unfortunate things happen globally, it was very difficult. Well, turning the page and I hope you have a great season. I understand that NHK is in the works oh, yeah. and uh, wish you great success. Thanks for talking to me, Thank David Islam. Okay.